episode 1.2. The question we have today is, would mercury metal be better than water for liquid cooling a computer CPU? And this is from someone called Skillet. Okay, that's not a good idea. I mean, firstly, mercury is highly toxic. Um, sorry about the toxic logo looking like uh, a member of the bantism here. The second thing is, is that mercury is highly conductive. So if there's any spillage of mercury within the computer, um, there's the risk of an um, electrical hazard. I mean, to an extent, that's the same with water. Okay, thirdly, mercury is corrosive to most metals. Apart from iron, which is the only common one, mercury will actually interact with most metals and dissolve into them and actually destroy them in most cases. The other thing I forgot to mention is that uh, mercury gives off toxic vapours, especially when heated, so, you know, it's not ideal for, for cooling in that context. Finally, it's heavy to pump. It's actually 13.5 times the density of water. So you're going to end up with an unhappy pump because they simply won't be designed to, to pump mercury. Anyway, this isn't a good idea. You know, don't do it. Build a wall around it. You know, make mercury pay for the wall if you want. But the real question is, would it actually work better? So let's look at what's happening here in liquid cooling. So heat from the CPU gets transferred by the coolant to a radiator, heat sink and fan. So let's compare the properties of water versus mercury. The first property you have is thermal conductivity. So this is the transfer of heat through the liquid. So for water, this is 0.6, and for mercury, it's 8.7, and this is measured in units called watts per meters Kelvin. The second property you have is specific heat. So this measures how much heat something can carry. So for water, you have uh, 4.2 kilojoules per litre Kelvin. And for mercury, you have uh, 1.9 kilojoules per litre Kelvin. So mercury is the clear winner in terms of thermal conductivity and water is the moderate winner with specific heat. Because of the large increase in thermal conductivity, which I think is the most important component, I think mercury would be much better for cooling. However, it's a little bit more complex than this as heat isn't transferred purely by conductivity because the cooling fluid is also moving. So this is a process called evection and this is way too complex for a short YouTube video. Anyway, we could do an experiment to look at this, sort of. Now mercury is highly toxic, however, we can use the metal gallium, which is liquid at CPU temperatures and relatively non-toxic, hopefully. So just comparing the properties of mercury versus gallium. So in terms of uh, thermal conductivity and specific heat, gallium is actually better than mercury. So therefore, as a coolant, uh, gallium is probably a much better choice. So to test if gallium is better than water at cooling, what we're going to do is we're going to take a pretty standard CPU and we're going to test three cooling methods. We're going to test the factory fan, liquid cooling with water and liquid cooling with gallium. And what we're going to do is we're going to test, we're going to run the CPU at 100% for 10 minutes and then measure the temperature afterwards. In the first test, we're using the standard factory heat sink and fan combination. And after 10 minutes, that got to a temperature of 79 degrees Celsius. In the second test, we're using liquid cooling with water as the coolant. Uh, you can see in the video how it's set up. So basically water's being pumped over the CPU from a reservoir, which is sitting in a larger water bath. Anyway, after 10 minutes at 100%, the CPU is sitting at uh, 73 degrees Celsius. Finally, we have liquid cooling with gallium replacing the water. The gallium was heated to around 40 degrees to become fully liquid, and then it was placed in the reservoir where the water was. Uh, this was still within the larger water bath. The voltage of the pump was also adjusted to maintain the same flow rate as the water, so it's consistent. So after 10 minutes at 100% CPU usage, the uh, temperature of the CPU was 69 degrees Celsius. So gallium is definitely a better coolant than water, and I highly suspect that mercury would produce similar results. However, I don't have the uh, balls to actually test mercury. So like mercury, gallium is still an electrical hazard. It conducts electricity, and it also corrodes almost every metal like mercury. The gold-coated heat sink in the video seemed okay with gallium in the short term, however long term, I don't know how it would hold up. Just to show the corrosive nature of gallium, I put a drop of gallium on an aluminium can for a few days 
just to show what happens. Anyway, in conclusion, using liquid uh, metals for liquid cooling, it appears to work better, but a lot could go wrong, so don't bother. This is your computer. This is your computer on Gallium.